You're quite right, Lebu. Good morning to you and welcome once again. We are coming to you live from the United Congregational Church of Southern Africa. The proceedings here have already gotten underway. The church, I must tell you, Lebu, filled to absolute capacity. People are even standing and there's not even enough room for those who are standing. So you can just imagine the kind of love that Meruda had here in the province. You did mention Bukoni Bupirima, the northwest province. I'm joined now by the Premier, uh, Supra Mahomabelu. A very good morning to you, sir. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, Ayanda. You know, something that we don't often see in South Africa and perhaps all over the world are icons who are celebrated while they're still alive. We can't say that about this province. We know the district named after Mamaruda and also a statue that you unveiled not too long ago. Uh, did, you, did you feel the need to honor her in this way while she was still alive? Quite important. Exactly, it was on the 10th of April. And last year, as the legislature, we also honored her. We brought together over 7,000 people to Freiburg to say to her that, Mama, we want to thank you for the contribution to the liberation of this country, for making sure that you educate our children, for making sure that you become an example to the rest of society. So today we have got mixed emotions. We are celebrating her contribution to the struggle for liberation, but at the same time we are mourning her loss. We are saying to the people of South Africa, it's important for us at all times to try and step on her footsteps. What struck me the most about some of the testimonials that we're hearing and uh, um, the condolences that we receive is that not only was she politically active uh, and socially active, but she was a nurturer and a mother to so many people. So I want to ask you personally how you will remember Mama Ruta. I will remember Mama Ruta as a disciplinarian, very principled person. She was not afraid to tell you where to get off if it became necessary for her to say so. And there's very few leaders who are able to do that because many of us are very populist in our approach. She was very, very principled and very much a disciplinarian. That's why I'm saying we will miss her daily. Hosting her funeral, uh, we do know a uh, Category 1 uh, special official funeral. Is the province prepared for this? We're seeing an influx of people. I know we personally struggled to find accommodation. It was all over the show, fully booked. Talk to us about the proceedings and uh, the, the logistics of the, uh, of the funeral. Well, you'll remember that in the province we have a strategy to deal with our small dorpies. So Huhu de Freiberg is one of our small dorpies. But we have been busy here for the whole uh, one and a half week preparing for this particular event. The memorial services have been going on very well throughout the province. The memorial service here went very, very well on Thursday. We are going to have an overflow. As soon as the dome is full, remember Meru said in her funeral, she doesn't want VIPs and VVIPs because she was a very humble person. So it will be safe, come safe, safe in the dome. As soon as it's full, there will be an overflow. We have prepared for over 11,000 people. They'll be looking and watching at the screens. Mm. What also struck me the most was that there are different race groups here uh, coming together in this particular township. Uh, she was quite a unifier, I take it. She was. Remember that uh, the ANC believes that uh, South Africa belongs to all who live in a black and white. And we want to build a non-racial society. It's a road that is perpetually under construction. Now, Meruth, when we had problems here, in Freiburg in particular, you'll remember the Babele issue, where she, he stabbed a, a, a white scholar. And she led the process to make sure that people here are united. By then, Ndate Mandela was still alive. Ndate Mandela came here together. They made sure that this unity of peoples, irrespective of our different races here in Freiburg. And for that, we say we will continue to build a non-racial South Africa. Mr. Premier, we'll have to leave it there, at least for now. My thanks to you so much for having joined us. A woman of many hats, of many colours. Uh, I tell you, while she was a nurturer and quite loving, as you've just heard from the Premier, she was very firm and quite the disciplinarian. I can give you endless stories that we've heard from some of the mourners here present, those who spoke of her as the MK soldier who went into training in Russia, those who know her as the ambassador, perhaps posted in various countries and representing South Africa, and those who know her simply as a lover 
loving mother, as a community member, and as a church member here at the United Congregational Church of Southern Africa. We will continue to look at the life and times of the late, great Dr. Ruth Mombadi. More in just a moment. Stay with us.